You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. How drunk is too drunk to drive? One group of scientists suggests cutting the blood alcohol level needed for an arrest by almost half. Our Stacey Delicat is live in Astoria to explain the logic behind this new recommendation. Stacey. Well, Darian, Steve, the National Highway Safety Transportation Administration, which commissioned this report, says that more than 10,000 people died in drunk driving related accidents last year. And while that number is way down from the deaths we saw in, say, the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, it's actually plateaued and even gone up in recent years. That's why the scientists who worked on this report say the laws need to change. Every day, 29 people in the United States die in alcohol-related crashes, and many more are injured. A prestigious scientific panel says we could lower those numbers by lowering the drunken driving threshold. I agree with that. I'm a volunteer firefighter. I totally agree with that. It should be zero alcohol at all. Right now, drivers across the country are prohibited from driving with a blood alcohol concentration, or BAC, at .08 or above. A government commission report from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine suggests lowering that BAC legal limit to .05. And our members overwhelmingly, 64%, say that they are in favor of lowering the blood alcohol concentration limit. Uh, for those who would be considered drunk. Robert Sinclair Jr. of AAA says countries that lowered their BAC limits saw a drop in alcohol-related traffic deaths. Without a doubt, it would improve safety, and in fact, it would enable the United States to catch up with the rest of the world. More than 100 countries globally have lowered the blood alcohol content that would be considered drunk when you're behind the wheel to .05. Blood alcohol concentration depends on a number of factors, like a person's weight and gender and how recently they've eaten. A .05 BAC limit could mean a very thin person would be in violation after just one drink. You know, they should know. Because if you have one glass of wine, you can still drive. That's not really like a big deal, I don't think. The beverage and restaurant industries are strongly opposed to a lower BAC limit. The American Beverage Institute says changing the law would be an attack on restaurants and hospitality and would target moderate responsible drinkers. The Institute's managing director said, quote, we all want to save lives, but lowering the legal limit from .08 to .05 BAC will not accomplish that goal. While a vast majority of alcohol-related fatalities involve drivers with BACs of .15 and above, very few occur between the newly targeted interval of .05 and 0.08 BAC. Well, blood alcohol limit laws are set by the states, and it's unclear whether, whether any states will act on these recommendations. Though one state, Utah, has already changed its law and lowered its BAC limit to 0.05. That law set to take effect at the end of this year. Live in Astoria, I'm Stacey Delacat, Stephen Derry. Back to you.